Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Um, not a bad result, to be fair. Some say, you know, we're unlucky not to come away with a uh, win. Ryan Bearded Tight, pleasure as always, mate, joining yes, us. Well. Um, yeah, I mean, from even from starting starting 11, it looked a pretty strong side. I mean, Earl making his debut as well. Yeah. Just see how he went on. But looking at starting 11, for me, I, I think it was more or less about strongest 11 it could possibly do, Ryan. Absolutely. Strongest 11 that he's got available to him at the minute, mate. Absolutely. I think that, you know, I think there were a, bit, a few rumblings about whether Cotter should be in or not, but I think I think O'Keefe's been struggling the last few weeks and, and when Cotter's come on, he's, he's impressed. So I think he'd earned his right uh, to, mm. to play at right wing back, to start at right wing back. And I thought, actually, I thought he did a really good job. Mm. <laughs> to be fair, I thought he played really well. Um, yeah, it, it, it was a strong 11, weren't it? So, um, uh, And I think that showed out on field because... For me, I think one of his better performances of the season. I thought we played. I know we didn't come away with win, and that is disappointing. In, in the fact, only in the fact that we deserved it. We really deserved the win yesterday. Mm. Um, we, we create, you know, Bolton had a lot of ball. They had a lot more of ball than us, but they barely worked Liam Roberts. You know, they, they, they got they got the goal, which were a it was a good it was a great cross for their goal. Yeah, well, yeah. Great cross, it really was. Swung it right into it. It was a great cross. Um, could Liam Roberts come for it? He sort of got caught between half between. Should he go for it? Shouldn't he go for it? And then, then he got, and it, I mean, it was a good header, wasn't it? So, but all, 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 and then that deflected shot right end where he made an absolutely tremendous yeah. save. It, yeah. it, it was outstanding because um, yeah. he really, really timed it to perfection. A lot of people had dove early there and it had looked over him, but he just waited and waited and waited and then just tipped and then got it absolutely perfect at full mm. stretch. But other than that, mate, they didn't actually work. In that much, mm. they, had, they had quite a few shots, but a lot of them were off target, weren't they? A lot of them, they were bla- you know, they had a couple of opportunities where they absolutely blazed them over bar. And but the chances we created, we should have scored, really. Yeah. Yeah, we should true. we should have scored. So I'm really pleased that I'm really pleased with the performance. It's difficult to be disappointed because we played so we played so well, and I think that the best thing I can take from that game is if we perform like that most of the time, we've got a really good shout of showing of getting promoted, mate, because that were that were a completely different performance yesterday. What we need to recognise is that that were a great performance. And, and listen, they are human beings. They're not going to be able to play 100% like that every week, but it just seems that they seem to get up for big games <laughs> and then we take his foot off gas for, you know, for, for slightly lesser teams. And, we show, and I'm sure that's not the case, but that's how it appears to us as fans. And, we just need to put that performance together against everybody, against you know, against against everyone. Um, because we, we we were we were brilliant yesterday. We played really really well. Played some really really nice football. We defended really well. Josh Earl were outstanding. Mm. They were outstanding, weren't they? So he looks at, he looks at a really key signing. So yeah, you know, like I say, mate, it's difficult to be disappointed, but also gutted we didn't come away with three points. Yeah. I mean, when when I saw uh, line up, I was pleased to see Luca Connell and never came back because yep. they were sorely missed uh, at Exeter. And you knew a big game like this against Bolton, it, we had to be competitive in midfield, which I think we were uh, by far. You know, Millen was better than Moore against Exeter. What in concern for me was after I think it was two, three minutes, it were early doors. Uh, De Givney getting a, a yellow, and I'm thinking, oh, jeez. <laughs> It was a year Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking, oh my God, it's going to be one of them afternoons. But yeah. to be fair, we went one note up and apart from some decision making and being more clinical, we could have probably been about two notes up, you know, three notes. Because should have been definitely What times we, we, Phillips were gaining final third. And I'm thinking, oh, if you just play that ball off, or you just caught it right. And that, that was a that was frustrating part for me. I'm thinking, but, but, is it going to come back to you know Aunt's kind of thing, which obviously it, it, did. it did. But having said that, like what you've just said, Via, from blow up whistle until final uh, whistle went, I thought it was a decent game. I thought it were no, in fact, I think it were a good game. And I think if any neutral watching yeah. in up this, but they said, yeah, this is a because it's at times said to be end to end battles going off, and I I I I enjoyed the game and. Bolton probably thinking, you know, we, you know, a game they should have won, but we, we took the game to Bolton at times, Ryan. Yeah, we did. And to be fair, mate, when I had a look on when I had a look online last night, the vast majority of but, but Bolton fans were saying Barnsley should have beat us. Mm. The vast majority were saying Barnsley should have won today. 
you know. Um, but we've come, but we've come away with the point. But it, it really was. It's a, obviously I, I went to the game, mate. It, it was a great atmosphere. It's first time this season because we've not, you know, we've not been to Wednesday and stuff like that. Or, yeah. uh, I didn't, I didn't go to the Derby game actually. It's first time for me this season where I've been to a really nice ground where it's had a, you know a load of fans in there. You know, 25, 25,000 plus fans in there yesterday. Great atmosphere between two teams pushing for promotion. It felt like it felt like a special game. Hmm. It had that, it had that, you know, that's that spark to it. Um, great, great atmosphere. Um, I really like Bolton's ground. I think it's great. I think it, you know, it's got a great atmosphere inside it. It's and it's, it made it made for it made for a really good watch. It made for a really good watch and the and the performance. Like I have to say, I come away feeling really proud of them because they, they, to to a man, there weren't anyone that had a bad game. There weren't anyone that had a stinker. Everybody to a man on that field had a good game yesterday. So yeah, fair play. And, and I mean, on about polls and stuff like that, when you on about people on Twitter saying, you know, that uh, best majority of Bolts fans are saying that. You look at the night before, and me included, I'm thinking if we come away with a point, they'll take that. Because a lot of fans, I think, even when you look on polls, at times it was about 65, 68% saying that Bolts are going to win. Because obviously, with what happened, I think uh, extra game probably carrying back on and what's going to happen when you start in 11. But Going into that game at Bolton, it's like what you said, be it we somehow click, we turned on now. Whether it be well, because we're up against a football side like Bolton, <clears throat> or like you said, beer in a decent stadium, it's a team that's going there to you know in rating the table, and we like kind of rise to that occasion. And I'm just thinking if we can get back in our mindset for the I'm not going to name any teams, but the, the so-called lesser teams in this league, we, we know we should have done better or picked up more points from them. Maybe we could be in a better position. And look, Bolton, uh, Portsmouth, they all have little blips. They all do that. They all overcome it. But yeah. it's just like now, we can can we put that together because we're in a decent position with the, with the recruitments that we've had. Um, and like I said, Josh Earl says he'd one day train him. Because he came out, I said, by the one day training with, with club, I thought unbelievable. It looked like he'd been playing there for yeah. a season or two. And um, I, I've, I think I've seen on Twitter and that he's got like man at match. He, he more to give it me. Was definitely man at match for me, mate. Yeah, you he, know what he, I mean. In, in, in a team of, of, <clears throat> of players that played really, really well, there were some really outstanding performances. So, um, I thought MDG played really well as well, mate. I thought he he, he was outstanding again. He was mopping everything up, you know what I mean? Like I said, he got the early yellow card, didn't he? A bit of a worry, mm. but then he, you know, he just prof- he, he saw it out very professionally, didn't he? To make sure he didn't he didn't get another one. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought Josh Earl was brilliant, mate, and and you can see that he's he's got all that AFL experience. So that's you know that's why it was such a good signing. He's he, you know he's twenty five year old. He's played in Championship. He's been he's been playing at Fleetwood. He's he's, he's played a lot of games this season at this level. He can just slot straight in there, isn't it? You know, plug in and play, and he's straight and off he goes. And he just looks. The 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 biggest thing I saw with him uh, that I was really impressed with is just how unflappable he is, how comfortable he is on ball. Mm. You know what I mean? Where a lot of players, when he were getting pushed down into sort of wet corner flag and under pressure from players, he weren't just oofing it. He weren't just oofing it. He was playing it out, comport, playing it out, it? playing it out mm. accurately, and not he didn't he didn't look, he didn't look flappable. He didn't look like he was stressed or anything. Just 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 mm. got on with it, made it look easy. Um, he looks, he looks, like, looks to have a lot of pace. He's good in air. He got a good lot of good boxing. He looks good with ball at his feet. He looks a really, really good signing, mate. I think we've dropped on there. Mm. Yeah, I mean, watching him because I will like keeping an eye on him, thinking what's he going to be like. You know, is he going to be a bit unsure with defence set up and that? But him and DeGivney and um, like you just said, there, he looks composed when he when he, when he want ball over in certain situations. It's sent to be like a calm and reassurance. And I think if they see that in a player, that gives confidence to such a to give me or Karen was playing alongside that left wing back role. Yeah. And I'm thinking that's one game and against Bolton, you know, he probably couldn't have gone into a, a possibly bigger <laughs> test for him, that lad. Um, and if he can do that there, and I'm thinking, you know what, we're on a good thing, got Pines to come in. Grant, I know he came on for uh, Herbie came in the second half. We'll get on about subs in a minute. But when Grant came on, I w- I'm thinking, mm, is it all like up and it's over? But it, I, in one of them, I think he bought a foul. And I'm thinking, yeah, it might have some here. Young kid, yeah. too early to say, but 
again, chucking it deep end against Bolton. But going on to the substitutions, uh, Ryan, I thought, and we've just been on about this off air, were a lot more tactical substitutions, not like uh, Gunnar would need to make wholesale changes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, for me, the way it were going in the game, they, they, they weren't need to take, make changes unless unless the lads were getting tired. I think Irby, obviously, I don't know if he was feeling it a bit, but he looked a bit tired coming back from that injury. Maybe he's maybe he's felt it a bit in his uh, well, his hamstring that he hurt when he went. He, he went off yeah, with some around here, he tightening up, wasn't it? Maybe it's uh, because it, again, I thought Cameron <laughs> having an excellent game. Some of some of the little dinks he did, like little back heels and stuff he does. It's very intricate, you know what I mean? He played really. I thought Cameron played really well. Um, so maybe that's the reason why I brought him off, um, and then taking Cotter off for for O'Keefe. Um, but other than that, there were no need. You know, sometimes like sometimes I just think it's almost like he's he's written it down in his his notes that this is what he's going to do at a certain minute, and this is who's going to come off for that person. Whereas yesterday, he just sort of left it to do what it needed to do, and because we you know it, it we were playing well and we were pushing on and we were trying to win that game and there were no need to break up that group of players because it was just it, it whatever were happening it, it clicked on it and it were working so mm-hmm. i think it were um it's, it takes confidence to do that as a manager because if it if it comes back to bite you because you've not made the change you know you've not made um a number of changes during the game then it, it can come back and bite on ass but the two that he made were like you said tactical as opposed to premeditated kind of thing yeah uh and like we just said there, I mean, my man at match for me uh, with Josh Earl. A bit unfair on probably the given because I thought Perrin played that, but I think I'm just getting to Josh Earl. He just did that a bit more, and I think he's been at club for a short space of time. He slotted him pretty well. Um, yeah. So for me to give him, but like you've just said there, Ryan, rest it, start 11. You, you could go through him, but you could all be knocking on the door. Robert's pulling off that great save. How was that, You yeah. know, uh, Connell and Kane bossing it in midfield, you know, McAtee running his socks off up front. So each to be own, we all play the part, and that's what you've seen. It, it were like a collective team effort rather than a odd one or two individuals standing out. It was more or less a, a team collectiveness. And it really was a team performance, mate. Yeah, it really was. Like I said, I think Josh Hill looked at match as well, mate. Do you oh, think Josh right. Hill yeah, Josh, so you can just show, yeah. yeah. They're giving you a brilliant again, though. It really was. He got put under a lot of data. There's a lot of times where you know they were putting long balls in, and it were him against a striker, and he were coming out winning all time. Mm. The one right near end where it looks like he got it down, and he actually he, he were at full stretch, and he managed to get a foot on it. Yeah, pass it in, and the 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 one bit of odds. You see the one where it come back, and um, Williams were tracking back, and he edited it, and it looked like it were going to go. But they done it. You know, <laughs> we're also glad he knew what he were doing because it looked like yeah, he yeah, yeah. into that gap where Bolton, you know, they'd have been straight on attack, weren't they? But we managed to yeah. pick it up. A bit of light, yeah. what, but yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. I thought some of the passing were just wonderful yesterday, mate. Some of the passing was certainly vastly but, improved. So, it? you know, considering some of his passing's been dreadful at times this season, um, it was so accurate yesterday and playing some really nice, like sort of one touch passing to get out and get a move going. It were, yeah, played some really nice stuff yesterday. I think some of the set pieces as well, because I mean, from throwing, you know, mm. from, from, from build up with that, so I think. Whether it's been worked on in training, whether you know whether they've identified that, but we need to be more, you know, from yeah. corners, be more of a threat and stuff. It we seem to be a bit more, uh, what can I say, creative, a bit more thought going on to it. What I've noticed in the last two games we caught when he's taking his throws, his throws are a lot flatter, aren't they? Mm. They're not looping in, they've got the flatter out there, so it must be some that it must be a change that they've made because they're going in, they're not looping all the way in from all distance, more they're like going in straight out, isn't it? Yeah. And he sent that throw in. That's definitely been worked on because it, it worked perfectly. You know, but, uh, Phillips has gone in, flicks it on, yeah. to get, and then calls there just to tap it in. That's definitely been worked on. It, it certainly yeah. looked that way anyway. Lovely yeah. flick on by Phillips, I have to say. Yeah. And you know. again, if we continue to carry on working with that, you know, from corners and free kicks from danger areas, and the, obviously we've identified certain weaknesses or possible vulnerabilities. Um, one may continue because I think we need to be more clinical with and certainly take more chances from his, his set pieces. Yeah, yeah. And like it, and his finishing as well, mate, just needs to get that little bit more clinical. It sounds daft because we scored a lot of goals, but we could score a lot, hell of a lot more goals. Yeah. We could be, yeah. I know we do. So I think that's usually a thing you say online. Say we are scoring, we're one of the top scorers in the league. We could be the top scorer in the league by some distance yeah. if we put his chances away. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, because we some of the chances we create. I mean, the one that that, that one in first half that, that Phillips missed because it was a great move. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, um, I thought McAtee could have had a shot from edge area. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, they practice them shots when they're warming up, don't yeah. they? they? Practice them shots at the beginning of every game. I thought he's right in the middle, he's running one, on. I, yeah, I'm another of them defenders in front of him, but then he's laid it off. I mean, it was a great ball, laid it off to Phillips, and Phillips just he's just not he's just not he's just not hit target as in. He's just no. put it wide. I thought I, I thought for all world that was two now. And my, then, one came across with McAtee, and it, it, well, that one extra touch, it just took it a bit away from me. I'm like, oh, if it just caught it there, what would it? If, yeah, it's I small split differences, but it does make a difference. Um, but look, hey ho, it's like and not negative by any stretch of imagination but you know we're coming away from game at Bolton we're thinking we're disappointed with a draw which <laughs> yeah which is, shows, you how, shows you how well we played really mate shows you how well yeah, we played um, yeah it does because I think there were a lot of there thinking we might go and get beat yeah um, there were definitely <laughs> definitely a chance of getting back and I think you know when you talked about that then pause earlier about 67 68% of people thought we were going to get beat you can kind of understand that it's not negativity it's just that against the Against um, Exeter, mm. they um, we performed really poorly. And if we, if we had a poem like that against um, against well, Bolton yesterday, we'd have, we'd have got hammered. But you know, fortunately, fortunately, we didn't. Yeah, it was one of them. We you know we come away with a draw. I on Friday said, "Right, I'll take a draw all day long." That's uh, you know always won't, won't, won't bound to win. But like you say, a lot of fans what have come a. Come away from there thinking oh, this is to be a draw, which speaks volumes. Uh, and full credit to the team as well, because uh, it'll be a tough week for them from the extra result. And then, uh, transfer window probably trying to get players in because Collins is stable, trying to get a midfielder and a striker. Things going off in background, who knows what's happening with agents and one thing or another. But we've got the players in light now, we know what players we've got going into the final stages of the season. Yeah. Um, and let's hope we can work on what we've got. We know where we are and push on. And if that's a gauge of what's happened against Bolton, then I'll take that all day long. Going in to, I think it's late in audience. Yeah, late in audience on Saturday, no midweek game. So we're at home on Saturday. So if we can take that kind of progression into the Saturday game against late in audience, it's for me, I'm feeling a lot more confident than we did, do, say, if we'd have gone to Bolton and lost like 2 0, 3 0. It'd have been. More pressure to back his own, his own form, but yeah, it's one of them. I, th- right. I, think, I think for me, Neil, it's like a set uh, now. It should be. I think it's the, the, the difference between the summer window and the tra- uh, and the January transfer window is that <clears throat> with the summer window, if you've not got like you, you could see it a little bit, maybe in summer players when they didn't get the move that they might have wanted and stuff like that. Mm. But now it's like once January transfer windows close, that's it. Now at end of season. Mm. You know, and that's a push to the end of the season. There's no like gap in the middle where you're thinking, or oh, maybe he might move away, or maybe I might get a move away, C- can cause a bit of uncertainty. All them players there that are now in that squad are there by the end of the season. And I think it's more like sort of solidity, potentially could, you know, solidify the squad because it's like, right, this is it. This is what we're doing. There's no changes now to end the season. We we, we push on now to the, to the end of the season. Mm. Uh, and I think we saw a bit, but you know, we definitely improved last season in second half of the season, didn't we? We were definitely yeah. much better in second half of the season. So, yeah, I hope it's sort of same thing happens this year. Yeah, that un- takes that uncertainty out, doesn't it? Knowing that, yeah, like yeah. Sophia, such as like a Callum Styles, where he's like Ed might be turned elsewhere. Is again, it is all is in and out. Look, we know we were going now, but played with what we've got. So, fair play. <clears throat> Good comments on that, uh, Ryan. Yeah. Uh, so, Ryan, as always, mate, it's been a pleasure. Uh, talking about the Bolt again, analysing it and again your thoughts about it. Uh, people that's gone, let me know in comments, like, you know, let, let me know, are you disappointed with draw? Should it have been a win? Uh, let me, me know your man at match uh, thoughts. We've gone for ill. I might go for someone different. It's all about opinions. Um, but yeah, it's, it seems a bit weird as talking about a draw and disappointed with it, I think, but it's uh, <laughs> volumes on it. So yeah, yeah. Um, it's, I think it's a decent weekend to be fair. Like we, we result at Bolton like that, and you look at other teams around us. Makes it even better when you see both Sheffield sides it's getting absolutely their results. Stumped. So yeah, yeah. yeah it make, I think it makes it a good weekend. There were a lot of when we get battered some yesterday afternoon. I can assure you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, make, it makes it a great weekend, then, now, doesn't it? Really. So oh, it does, um, it yeah, does. it's a great weekend. We've come away from Bolton. We, you know, uh, pushing for promotion. We a draw. And two Sheffield sides have been battered. So, yeah, it's a great weekend for me and Ryan. <laughs> uh, 
Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. One thing left to say, you're right.